Hi, this is Alex Designman, and this is part number four from Heretical Harness Flattening Tutorial. So in the last part, uh, we said that we are going to do a modification to the original project to be able to demonstrate some commands. And this is the original project, is the project file product where uh, we have the electrical harness and this surface. So if you're just uh, seeing this video, you see that this is part four. So you need to go to part one to understand what uh, we do here. There are no files to download. We create these files in uh, those videos. So you need to go to part one of Katia V5 electrical harness tutorial, which you can find on my YouTube page here. That's where we start to create all of those files that you see here on the screen. So I explained there why there are no files to download. I'm not going to go again in that because we have a lot of work to do here. So if you open the original project file, then we activate the multi branch bull document. And if I go here on root definition, I want to see that everything is connected. So I want to see connector, retainer, and so on. If you see points everywhere, it means that the multi branchable has lost connection with the connectors. So if you did everything like uh, I do in uh, those videos, you will have all of those connections. Okay. Otherwise, you need to remake the connections like I showed there. You can go back in the videos and watch, or uh, you can remake this project again. This is going to be a good exercise. <laughs> But I'm not going to show again how to fix them because it takes a lot of time and I don't want to make this video that long. I show in a, an older video how to fix those. For now, we are going to make the modification that we are talking about. And I'm going to make this bundle as long as possible. So if I activate uh, this product where this connector is and I grab the compass and I'm just going to move this connector and make this very, very long. So I can see that this branch is already red because it wants to be updated. So because I have this product active, I can just press here, update all. So the software, uh, it was just telling me that it wants to update uh, more stuff. That's okay. And now we have this branch, which is very, very long. So I'm going to activate the main product, go to file, save management and save uh, everything here. Click OK, and then I'm going to close this project and I would like to open the flattened harness cut product that we created for flattening. So if I open this, this is the project in here. Let's activate the electrical harness product. And uh, I know I said to close the project file that we just modified. But you need to have this open when we do the synchronization here, otherwise it's not going to work. So make sure you open this again and have this open in the session. And now, from here, we just click, make sure you have the top project active. And on this toolbar, we have a command called synchronize. So if we click on this, you might get a warning saying that uh, don't forget to save if you did the modification in the project file like we did, but we uh, already saved that. And here is the synchronize window. And you can select here different type of actions like remove, like what have you done in the harness? What does the modification about? Here we have bundle segment structure, no attributes, no knowledge parameters, profile shape on the harness. So you can uh, deactivate some of those if you have a very big harness and you don't want this to take a lot of time. But in here it's very small, so I'm just going to leave them on. Uh, for example, wires, we don't have wires. I'm going to turn this on, off. Protective coverings, we don't have that. Just turn them off. And when you click OK, synchronizing, and here we have our bundle. It has been synchronized. And here is the HTML report that is going to open in a browser. Synchronization parameters. So this is probably something that uh, if you work in a company, you are going to save or maybe it's not needed. So I'm going to close it here. And then we go to save management and I want to save everything that uh, has been modified. Click OK. And this is how you synchronize a modification that you do in the original harness project. And now the last command that we said here we needed to demonstrate. So all of those, we did those in the previous videos. 
and the last one was scale so for example if you have this harness this is not going to fit on a paper because of this very long branch so we are going to scale this down if you use the scale command click on it this command is to be used for scale free branch to change the design specification length please use the length tolerance command okay this is just a warning and the software says select the bundle segment this is the bundle segment the current length is this one and this is the length that uh, we want to modify to flat so let's make this to a quarter so this is going to be let's try to make this 300 see how it looks so that's okay and now this hardness is going to fit on the paper and if it still doesn't fit we can bend some of those move them around like we did around here if this is too long we can also scale this so let's make this 450 maybe even smaller 400 okay so let's save this again and in the next video we are going to take this put it on a drawing and add some dimensions to see how we can create a manufacturing drawing through the flattening workbench and in another video i'm going to show you how you create a automotive manufacturing drawing using different kind of softwares without the flattening workbench because as i said before this workbench is problematic that's why a lot of companies they are not using it so in this next video series i'm going to show you a few options that i've seen various companies using them so I hope this was helpful and see you in a future video.